Hi everyone. I'm going to test the efficiency of this um, transformer here, the output um, capability. I'm going to power it from 12 volt battery there. The, uh, I should have white wire here. Um, I've got a 0.1 ohm resistor there across or in series, sorry with the return from the transformer to the battery to measure its current use. I've also got a current meter there to measure the current use of the transformer and a voltmeter there which is the voltage of the supply the source battery of the transformer 12 volts or so another 0.1 ohm resistor here across the secondary of the transformer 5 watt 0.1 ohm resistor and the secondary there and I'm measuring the AC volts that multimeter there so I'll turn the circuit on that's just the uh, switching circuit running and I'll turn on the uh, coils a bit about nearly 200 milliamps there, also. Um, and so when I come over to look at the, the voltage across the secondary, I've got 21 volts AC across a 0.1 ohm resistor. How can that be right? Twenty one volts. Now I worked that out. I worked out to be about four point eight four point seven or so kilowatts of power into that resistor. How could that be possible? Should have burst into flames. Transformer should be on fire. Mmm. Five kilowatt device. Then I have to do a flick of the switch. Make it 28 volts across a 0.1 ohm resistor. It's more like eight kilowatts. Should definitely be on fire now. Mmm. So, obviously, there must be a problem. With the resistor. Just a normal looking resistor, here's another one. What I've done is I've modified the resistor, done a bit of keyhole surgery on it, and ground the wire away inside the ceramic, so it's now an open resistor. Okay, I'll put these back on. I'll show you that. Switch the ohms. Open circuit. I'm 
wants a normal resistor. Okay, how do we make sure we don't get tricked like this in real life? Well, of course, the simplest way is to always make sure that in any demonstration we require a load in series with the resistor. This way, we can see the real value. more closely resembles the input power. Isn't that strange? So, of course, if I remove that like that, and place that resistor with my trick resistor, you see there the modified one, Nothing. No light. Light don't come on. But I've still got 21 volts across it. Very easy trick to do. Very easy. A variation on that trick is just use a small piece of invisible stuff and the jaws of the clip lead or a clip lead which is open circuit or a high resistance clip lead or any number of different things can be done the leg of the resistor could be coated with a high resistance substance that can't be seen many many things without the load in series to see the power some sort of a a power output in some way relative to what's being measured not necessarily the input but what's being measured is the output it needs to be shown as a load Just doing power measurements on a resistor itself, sitting on the bench, showing the voltage across the resistor means nothing. Who runs a transformer to power a resistor? Nobody. You run a transformer to power the load. You put the resistor there to measure the current. Okay, thank you for watching.